Hey guys, MSG Retired here. Um, so I just had a case break that I was working on. Uh, I had several people report a gentleman to me by, he goes by OG Silverback on YouTube. And he was making a lot of special forces claims, which were just way out of the norm. Uh, didn't make any sense, uh, you know, where the school was, what he did, so on and so Anyway, long story short, it was obvious that a lot of it was BS. And since we're dealing with special forces, when I do my Stolen Valor stuff, if it's dealing with Navy SEALs, it goes to Don Shipley. If I'm dealing with special forces, Delta, any of those guys, uh, I send it over to Guardians of the Green Beret. So once I gathered up the information that was given to me in regards to his claims, uh, I find... I, send out an email, a generic email to anybody I'm doing an investigation on. And I highlighted that in one of my other videos. And I asked some simple military questions and I got back some hate mail on it. Uh, and, and I usually do. It's not a big deal. Um, I went back and forth with him a couple of times. And like I said, I did a video on that, but I never called out his name. And I don't usually until I get 100% uh, records back. So I fired all this stuff off to the guys over at the uh, Guardian of the Green Beret. And then the other day, I get an email from OG Silverback. Hey, I'd really like to talk to you. I want to come clean on this. I want to get this behind me, so on and so forth. So I said, cool. And he asked me to call him. So I gave him a call. We, I don't know, we talked 25, 30 minutes on the phone. And, uh, you know, he explained to me what he was doing said he didn't know about the Stolen Valor Act uh, or the laws regarding that. Um, assured me that he would not make any more uh, embellished military type claims. And, and I also told him, I said, well, I'm going to let the guys over at the Guardian of the Green Beret know because I had already forwarded all this stuff to them. So I had handed off my investigation off to them. I was still an integral part in it because I had information. I talked back and forth with them. Uh, they just released a short series of videos, which it the videos actually highlight some of his claims. And then uh, one of the guys from Guardians of the Green Beret had a phone conversation with him where he did, in fact, admit uh, that he never attempted any of that training and that he was not SF Ranger Airborne. Uh, and that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to do a little follow-up on it. Uh, if you look up OG Silverback on YouTube, you'll find his YouTube channel and his his uh, apology video. Um, and then if you go to the Guardians of the Green Beret website, uh, they also have a YouTube channel, and uh, they have posted their four, uh, what they do, their, their four videos highlighting the claims and also his uh, his call with them in regards to uh, not attempting any of that training and his actual confession to them that, you know, in his apology. So I wanted to do this quick follow up, pretty short video. Uh, you know, I'll be bringing you more stuff. Um, just some things to know. I mean, when you're dealing with the, the, the special operations kind of guys, I don't jump into that with both feet, you know, and, and start really digging hard. I will collect as much information as I get from the people that report it. And I forward it to the appropriate groups. Uh, the guardians of the green beret, they're all green beret guys. Uh, they have many contacts. They can vet people very quickly. Uh, it's a very small community. Uh, a lot of guys know each other. So, you know, they do a great job with that. They have access to the schoolhouse. They can, you know, find out if they ever attempted uh, selection or the qualification course or any of that. So, uh, you know, those are the guys to go to on the Green Beret side. Uh, Navy SEALs, Don Shipley. Everybody should know Don Shipley. He's, uh, he's, <laughs> he's quite a guy. He, uh, he holds no bars on anybody. He uh, goes after them, uh, does a great job at it. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Uh, that case is done with me. I'm all set. 
I'm, I'm glad this is, and this is a first that I've ever gotten an actual video, anything from anybody. Uh, and I've been doing this for a long time. I, I mean, I've had maybe two people write letters and this was back in the, uh, this ain't hell dot us days. Uh, but of course, then two weeks later, somebody calls and says, Hey, uh, they're doing it again. <laughs> so this, this was kind of, uh, a first and, um, and hopefully he stays to his word. He said he wasn't going to embellish any of his military stuff. Said he wasn't even going to talk about it. He is a veteran. Uh, that was verified. So, you know, it is what it is. So when you're out there telling stories, don't do it. Don't embellish. Don't lie about it. Uh, if you notice on my screen, too, I got down in the bottom left corner. That's the DeWitt trial countdown to his first case. April 5th, 9 a.m., Osceola County Courthouse. We got 22 days left. I'm going to have that on all of them until that court date comes up. Uh, with that, if you if you like my content, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, so you get notifications of any new media that gets uploaded. As always, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. Just let me know uh, that you're here, and uh, have yourself a great day.